Derek Prince gives a powerful word on Christians having two spirits, how you can have the Holy Spirit and still be influenced by another spirit, how there can still be light and darkness. Okay. Now, some of you will try to quote scripture out of context, but you got to listen to this. Then I'm going to bring you um, some scripture as well. All right. So let's go ahead and play this. I'm afraid what I'm going to say may shock some of you, but the most difficult people to deal with are people who have two kinds of spirit. One is the Holy Spirit and the other is not. Now people will tell you that the Holy Spirit wouldn't dwell in an unclean vessel. That's wrong. The Holy Spirit does dwell in unclean vessels. If he didn't, we'd have no hope. Some people take the attitude the Holy Spirit will only come in when you're completely pure. But the Holy Spirit comes in to make us pure. Without him, we cannot be purified. So we need him. It's, it's like if a professor at a university would say to his class, now when you've passed your exams, I'll teach you. And they'd say, but professor, we need you to teach us to pass our exams. After all, David committed adultery and murder and prayed, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And God didn't. And, and that's true. Psalm chapter 51 verse 11. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. And we know David was into adultery, murder, a lot of ridiculous stuff. David was a massive sinner, like continually, but he will always come back to the presence of God. Right? So. You can see right there that David had the Holy Spirit, but he was still living in wickedness and the Holy Spirit did not uh, depart from him. So there was still darkness. He was an unclean vessel while the Holy Spirit dwelling in him. So we got to understand that. That's why it's good to understand scripture in context. So if anything defiles adultery and murder, do, but the Holy Spirit did not leave David. That was the grace and mercy of God. Which reveals that. A Christian can have two spirits outside of the spirit of man. We're not talking about that. A Christian can have two spirits, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit and also a spirit like a demon, right? The Bible makes that very clear that, you know, it, it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4, it says, for if someone comes to you and preaches the Jesus, other than, than the Jesus we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the spirit you received, capital S, from the spirit you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it easily enough. So scripture is revealing here that you can receive a different spirit from the first spirit you received, which is the Holy Spirit, which reveals once again that Christians, Christians can have two spirits, the Holy Spirit and a demon dwelling. Aren't you glad that the Holy Spirit doesn't leave you every time you do something wrong? You know, Jesus in Mark 7 lists 13 things that defile a man. And one of them is pride. And one of them is foolishness. Dear Lord, how many spirit-filled Christians would there be left if every time we got proud or foolish, the Holy Spirit left us? So, the Holy Spirit does dwell in vessels that are not totally pure. And let's bring scripture for that. The Bible says here in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1, Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. Now, this is after them being filled with the Holy Spirit. And they're still saying... You know, we need to cleanse ourselves spiritually. We need to cleanse ourselves physically. We need to abstain from things that are contaminating us physically and spiritually. And they're saying this while having the Holy Spirit. They're saying this while having the Holy Spirit. And the Bible also says in John chapter 12, verse 35, so Jesus said to them, the light is among you. Only a little longer, only a little while longer. Walk while you have the light. Keep on living by it so that darkness will not overtake you. He who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. He is, drift, he is drifting aimlessly. So you can be walking in the light. 
and living in the light. But the moment you stop living according to the light, the principles of God, darkness can overtake you. Darkness can overtake you. You feel me? And I believe everything, I agree with everything he just said, completely powerful. There are many Christians today that don't believe Christians can have another spirit, which is a, a demon. They don't believe that. Right, but the Bible makes it very clear. The Bible makes it very, very clear in Second Corinthians eleven four that we can receive a different spirit from the one we initially received, which is the Holy Spirit. And it says that we need to purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit. So, what is contaminating your spirit? My goodness, this is so powerful, Derek Prince. What is contaminating your spirit? If if, if David was living a life of murder, adultery. And all this other stuff, obviously he was being defiled spiritually, but he still had the Holy Spirit. Think about it. Obviously, there were <laughs> obviously his his soul was being defiled spiritually. Obviously, David was contaminated. Why? Because he would cry out to the Lord, creating me in a clean heart, creating me a, a, a renew a right spirit in me. So David said, renew a right spirit in me. So he had a wrong spirit. And he needed to purify himself spiritually. So he had to pray to God, who is a spirit being, and say, purify my spirit. So what, what is in your spirit? What has what is entered into your spirit through a lifestyle of adultery, witchcraft, um, uh, murder? Y'all follow me? This is so powerful. I think I'm going to call this, you know, Derek's Prince. Powerful revelation on Christians having two spirits. Not all Christians. I'm saying Christians can go through deliverance. But you, know, you know what I mean, right? Christians can go through deliverance and not have that second spirit, which is an evil spirit. This is why deliverance is necessary. This is powerful. 